What is up 805? This is Bill Losey here in Studio 805 for the Ventura County Star in morning for the end of baseball season. The Dodgers ended up in fourth after being first for most of the year. Hey guys, being first at the end of the season is a plan that works. I'm not a baseball fan, but a Dodger fan. But now my nights are free so I can go out and check out more bands because that's what I do. Unfortunately, Grady Little and Ned Coletti will be back next year and clueless carpetbagger Frank McCord is still the owner. Shady Grady from Sanford and Sunderland could be, could be a better manager than Grady Little. And please do not resign that dead man pitching batting practice, Mark Hendrickson. Furthermore, if you love the war in Iraq, you're really going to love the war with Iran. Unlike Iraq, Iran has an army, a navy, and an air force. So was those bad neighbor Iranians and their president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, dinner jacket that messed up Iraq? Wow, and to think all this time I thought it was Bush and his neocon all-stars that did that. Wanted to find out what's what? If so, then check out a new book by Pulitzer Prize winning reporter Thomas Rick. It's all about uh, Bush's current wacky Iraqi disaster. The book is called Fiasco. How do you say Stalingrad in Farsi? Wow, and whoa, that's W-O-E. We do live in interesting times. Too bad Lumpy Rutherford and Eddie Haskell are driving. We should just play Iran in baseball. Winner gets to, gets to go to rehab with Britney Spears. That'd be easy. Enough current events for now. Bill Losey still here in Studio 805 with some musical answers to your entertainment questions as to what to know about where to go this weekend. And to that end, if I had a faster car, a richer girlfriend, or even one with a job, here's where I'll be lurking in the back this week, starting tonight, Friday night. Seriously funny, funny dude George Carlin. He'll be at the Gibson Amphitheater in Universal City. Well, up here in the 805, where we like it, Teresa Russell will play a cool solo gig at the Shores in Oxnard down on Harbor Boulevard Friday night. In Ventura, playing in the inner city Greenbelt, Hey, all you other cities in the 805, we still have one. It's a Joe Pecan band playing Rage and Cajun music and bluesy rock at the Ventura Harvest Festival, Wednesday, I mean, sorry, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Also, at my favorite dive bar, one of the few places I have never been kicked out of, the Red Cove. It's Cow Punk, Trucker Punk, Gearhead Greaser Punk, with Luck of the Draw, and also the Jim Rowdy Show, Friday night, Red Cove. Rock and Rick Hunter will do just that a few blocks north at Bernadette's on Main Street in Ventura, and a block or so further down Main Street, at It's All Good, there's Rock and Blues with the Preachers. And around the corner at Cafe Bella on C Street, it's Frank Barrage playing all those cool classic pop hits, his and everyone else's, also Friday night. A block or so away, and, and one of my victims in this week's timeout section, so it must be true, it's a fashion model that sings that good old classic rock. Her name is Emily Zuzik. She was probably the last one to say here when they called Roll in high school, but she's top of the food chain at Zoe's in Ventura Friday night. Also playing St. Bill, it's Be Willing, which is Brendan James of Shades of Day, and a lady named Pi. Remember that squiggly Greek thing that was worth 3.1416 in math class? This pie has got to be more fun than algebra ever was. All I know about algebra is I don't like it, I don't understand it, which would probably explain my F. On Saturday after UOD on college football, it's Geezers of Rock That Rock from Steve Miller, the Steve Miller Band, and also Ohio guitar god Robin Ford. They'll be entertaining those former hippies, but now mortgage brokers at the Greek Theater in Hollywood Saturday night. While down on Malibu, it's Swamp Rock Deluxe and the Radiators. Steve White and the Barstool Pigeons will incite both tourists and locals alike to dance funny Saturday afternoon at high seas in the Ventura Harbor, once upon a time, the city dump. And Fido will be at the Red Cove Saturday night. That's the name of my beloved dead cat. Fido, who was smarter and had more personality than 80% of the people I know. Miss you, Fido. Rising Sun will play some reggae upstairs at Nickelby's in Ventura Saturday night. Say hey to Will. He's the greatest doorman in the 805. Also Saturday night. Up the road in Santa Barbara, Spencer the Gardener will play his tropical surf what the heck dance music at Soho and those shins, my other victims in this week's timeout, will play their odd pop at the Santa Barbara County Bowl. Sunday in Farmland hitting Oxnard is the first Sunday of the month. Cajun dance party with Acadiana at Pirates, despite the whining from the Chamber of Concrete, who are not your friends. Whatever they say and whoever they support is more often than not detrimental to your quality of life. That's why Oxnard Butter should back Councilman Tim Flynn's traffic initiative. He's the only one not owned and operated by the cement loving carpet baggers. Also Sunday up in Hollywood Hippie Heavy Ojai, it's Jackson Brown at Libby Park running on empty and such, while over in Miners Oaks it's Jonathan McHugh and our local rock star at The Farmer and the Cook. Monday it's Cool Original Rock and Cheap Paps Blue Ribbon Beer, there is no other kind. They'll be at Billy O's in Ventura Monday, while downtown is Cool Power Pop from the Shakedowns at Dargan's in Ventura. Take Tuesday off and assess the damage, that fiscal calamity that has befallen your wallet. Yes, drinking and doing the rock walk is expensive. But nothing's ever going to happen sitting on your couch, so there's that. Finally, it's as good as it gets as to singer-songwriter stuff from hardcore, broken-hearted Padres fan and former Rugburn's frontman Steve Poltz. He'll be at the Maverick Saloon in San Inez Wednesday night. Me too, probably. He's great. Okay, I'm running dangerously low on adjectives, so this is Bill Losey here in Studio 805 for the Ventura County Star saying save the top hat, save yourselves, and go check out some live music. Dodger fans, wait till next year to remember 
no one tells you how to act and how you're going to be.